Hi there YouTube, Infizo87 here with, as the title suggests, UU Hacker Show TCG Trade Binder. Uh, before I get into that, the reason I'm partially making this video is because of the slightly increased interest in the card game again, thanks to the release of that. The Blu-ray uh, disc uh, for the Season 4 of UU Hacker Show came with a special bonus feature that was titled the UU Hacker Show TCG Revisited, where Scott Sager and Justin Cook played two UU Hacker Show matches against each other, sporting some pretty awesome cards like Meditations and even the Dark One. Speaking of Dark One, if you buy this, you get, for free, as it says on the back, Rare Limited Edition Trading Card, the Dark One. For those of you who don't know much about this card, it was only given out to, uh, in threes to score employees, uh, and they weren't supposed to give it out to anyone. Well, when score was ended, the cards were, for the most part, destroyed. Some of them still got out from people who had left the company before the end of the company. Uh, not too many of the people have them signed. I own an original one, not one of the reprints. Well, I own reprints, but one of the originals. Uh, it's not signed, unfortunately, but it's in pretty good shape, which is pretty rare. Anyway, enough about that. I am going to get into what this is supposed to be about, which is the trade binder. I trade, I buy, I sell. I just won't sell everything in the binder at once. I still want to keep cards for trade since I still need like 18 cards at this point. Okay, anyway starting off with ghost files uh, the use K and the pocket communicator here are from the uh, I think it was anime esque anime expo pack or comic-con pack It was one of those packs uh, where only this that was the only place you could get the use K non foil and the pocket communicator misprint it was supposed to be communication mirror, uh, communication mirror but they were awesome and misprinted it uh, three promos and three of the four DVD promos. Uh, I have multiples of a lot of the cards in there. Uh, in the description, I'm going to give a link to my trading page on the Pojo forums so you can see exactly how many copies of each I have. So if you want something from there, at least then you'll know how many of each I have. Nothing too exciting here. Uh, I don't have any more power strikes. Uh, what else is missing from this page? I think that's the only one that's missing, actually. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. I don't have any more halts or burst of powers, and from Dark Tournament, same thing, I don't have any more Burst of Powers. That's the promo, no more Chroma's Last Stands. Uh, I've gotten rid of most of the Puppet League as well. Don't have any Yokos. I know they're one of the more popular cards, which is why I don't have any more, because they traded off rather quickly when I got them. don't have much of the tournament cards either. I don't have any more holds or missing but no more epic showdowns, no more I'm calling you out and there's one other there that I don't remember. Uh, uh, in case you missed it, I don't have I have cards from the tournament set for the first one. That's just I forgot to put them in initially, so they're at the end. Nothing too special on this page, just tournament rares and tournament commons. Nothing too awesome. Okay. 
This page, this is one of the more interesting pages. The Hiei, Determined Warriors, I have two of them. One of them has pen mark on the pen marks on the back of it. Why someone did that, I have no idea. They are both single rainbow. Crazy Worlds, both of them are single rainbow. Head on Assaults, both of those are also single rainbow. Uh, Kuwabara, I only have one single rainbow and I think four double rainbows. Um, Counter Strikes are all single rainbow. I think I have one of each of the Yusuke's Tainted Glare and one of each for the Hiei's Tainted Glares. If you don't know the difference between single rainbows and double rainbows, my next video is going to be talking about those. It's one of the least known things about the card game, so if it doesn't sound familiar to you, don't worry about it. A lot of people don't know about it. Uh, let's see. A Karama, I think I only have a double rainbow left of it. His Glare, I think I only have one single rainbow left. The Kubara's Tainted Glare, I think I have two single rainbows and one double rainbow. And for Mad Bomb, I only have one of each. And then getting into the gateway set, uh, you're only going to see line foils, pretty much, because I always put it in the order of line foils, then cloudy, then jagged. Uh, like I said, just click the link to my trading page and you'll find out if I do have cloudy and jagged rainbows or not. Uh, as you can see, no bullseyes here, but I am looking for a bullseye jagged foil, first edition, that's in, like, mint condition. I have two of them, both of with both of which are damaged. One is pretty dirty in the back and the other one got bent while was the guy was shipping it, which was not so lovely. So if you have one and don't want to part with it because you want a jagged foil, well if you want a less conditioned one, if you don't mind having a less conditioned one, I could trade you that and additional card or cards. Nothing too fancy about this page. No Daoshi, unfortunately. He's a pretty hot trader because his effect uh, for his attack extend is really good. Uh, these are the only four hidden rare team leader cards that I have in there. Don't have the other three for trade. Three or four, I don't remember. Uh, I know I have three of the Djinn, and I only have one of the Demon Compass, those are the only reprints I have for trade. And all the rare and common foils you're going to see from here are all single rainbows. I don't have any double rainbows for trade of those, unfortunately. I'm still looking for a decent amount of the double rainbows, which is also going to be in the link to the Pojo forums. Nothing special on this page, just common or rare foils. Uh, I think all of them are first edition. Uh, not Mafu, you can know. Team bonus cards. I have a few double rainbows in there. I know I have Saint Beasts, that's a double rainbow. And I think I have one of Yurameshi, that's double rainbow as well. Getting to the tournament cards, I hardly have anything, as you can see. Uh, I used to have a decent amount of them, but I've traded a lot of them off. Uh, starting Exile, only promo I have for trade is Coalition. I don't have much for the League cards either. And the only ghoster I have is Yusuke's Altar, and ironically, I have three of those. Um, bottom left of Mikuro, only king piece from this set that I have for trade. Challenge of Wills, one of the staple cards in the set for pretty much any deck. 
if you use exile in your decks anyway. These are the only rare foils. I don't even have any common foils to trade. Team Karama support for Sedition foil. Otherwise, the other three are nothing that amazing. Tournament cards. Uh, nothing too amazing here. Should take that banned card off my hand. Dragon's Victory. The uh, only thing worthwhile here is really Old Demon Arises. Uh, I have a Serenity here. It's damaged. Let's see if I can find it right across here. You won't be able to see it. It's got a... It's, I guess it was bent backwards from the front of it, which is how it got a crease across right there. It doesn't really show up on the back. So if you're going for a collection, uh, yeah, that's definitely not the one you're going to want. Uh, unless you really want to fill in that gap. It's basically more for playing purposes. Oh boy, I better speed this up. We're almost up to 12 minutes already. This gin, it's damaged along the right side. I didn't even notice that until I was putting it on the binder. Uh, that just kind of sucks. Uh, for the tournament cards, I pretty much have only one of most of them. From rares onward, I mean. Alliance, I don't have a lot of Alliance left. I've traded most of it off. I've got no more than nine different cards from it. Uh, but of the ones I do have, I pretty much have dupes of them all. And then we get into the starter deck cards from the first set, which are pretty boring. And the tournament cards from the first set, which aren't anything amazing either. Except Unconscious, which I've got like a billion of. Not really, I only have like ten. And we're getting to the very end here. Uh, these are the non-foil ones that you would get in Dark Tournament packs, I believe. And I have multiples of the Sensui Scanner, if you're, you know, looking for it. I think you get them in Betrayal packs, though. And the last page, Jin Scanner. And this card. This card is the Origins card, which practically nobody has. As for why, I'm not really sure. Uh... On the card itself, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but as you can see, it said that there was going to be originally 182 cards in the first set, but there were only 180 with 10 promos, 6 preview cards. They really changed a lot of things from when they made this card. Uh, the back of the card is different as well. It's got someone's eyes on there. I'm not really sure who. It doesn't look like Yusuke, but... That is the Origins card. The only way you're getting that off me is if you have, like, three or four of my wands. So, sorry. But you could try anyway. Uh, I'm about to hit the 15-minute mark, but besides the Pojo link below, you're also going to find a link to uh, a database website that I put together. And if you are interested in visiting it, you should. It's got a lot of information on it. 
but that is all in the description below, and I'm at the 15 minute mark, so I'm going to cut this off here. Uh, you can message me. Uh, try not to comment on my channel, because I forget to check those. Thank you for viewing, and uh, oh, happy holidays, and happy new year.